All right, hold tight, people. Where do I want to start? I don't know where I want to start. I do not have my extensions in today, people. I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair in the last few videos. Yes, I did get some new hair extensions. I've had hair extensions for years, but I recently got the Bellamy hair extensions. I'm still testing them out. So once I have my thorough, honest opinion about them, I will make a review video. But until then, I really don't want to talk about them a whole lot. They're still really new. And I hate it when people get a product and never really use them and give their opinion about it. So whatever. I don't do that. I need to really use them and get my use out of them for a couple weeks and then I'm going to give my full review. So that's it. I have a serious headache the last couple days and I'm just not feeling wearing those extensions right now because oh, my head's going to explode. Thursday night I wore them to an event for Beautylish and I just, by the end of the night, after about six hours, my head was throbbing because I already had a headache. People, if you have a headache, don't put on hair extensions. Bad move. Bad move. 220 grams extra weight on your head is just, oh, bad news. So I've gotten some stuff. I always say that. I got some shit over the last week or two. I wanted to talk to you guys about it. That's it. This is the L'Oreal Miracle Blur. I found the little travel size. I'm going like this so you can see it because there's so much going on in my background I feel like you can't see it. Uh, this is it. It's a little travel size. I've tried this about four or five times now. It's like a heavy silicone primer or you can just use this on your face to you know, blur the lines and <laughs> fill the pores. It's really just a thicker version of the Benefit Professional or the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, honestly. It's actually kind of more expensive. So this little tube I paid like $8 for or something like that. I know the big tube is like $26 by me at CVS. It's okay. So I got this last week at CVS. Something else I got last week, which I mentioned in my YouTube Made Me Buy It video, but I never actually told you guys in a haul, which was this baby doll uh, Issa Laurent mascara, and I got this in black. This mascara is the bomb diggity. Seriously, bomb diggity. I am not wearing any false lashes today. Just this. I'm wearing four coats of this. I don't really see this receiving all that much hype, probably because it's a $30 mascara. It's amazing though. Seriously, seriously amazing. Four coats of this. My lashes are thicker, longer. So great. I love this mascara. I hate that I love it because it's $30, but it is so good and lovely. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I got that at Sephora. Everything's so random on my desk, so I'm just trying to figure out what I want to talk about first. I saw a video about two weeks ago made by MAC Shadow Combo, and she was launching a new lash line. So I decided that I really wanted to pick up some of her lashes, and the fact is is that I have some velour lashes, and those things are like $40 or $50, and she's selling her lashes starting at $20. So I figured I'm going to just go over to her website and check them out. I found some lashes that I fell in love with instantly, just like that, instantly. So I picked up some lashes from her. The box is so friggin' cute and it slides out like this and it's one of those reusable packages and the lashes are so beautiful, so beautiful. I will insert a close-up photo of these lashes. They're gorgeous. These are the Koi Cuties. I use this in the tutorial that I posted the other day, my Sleek Saturday tutorial for the Storm Palette. I use these lashes. These are just so beautiful. I'm going to do a full review, a full review on these lashes, so I don't want to really get too into it, but gorgeous. These were only $20. I don't want to talk anymore about these, so I did get these. You know, I was in contact with Sabrina and she did send me another pair for review, and that is the Forget Me Nots. But again, I'm going to talk about that more in a later video. So I want to give it its own complete review because these lashes are just so deserving of their own video. I decided that it was time to try out Makeup Geek. Now, I've been gone... I've got blah, blah, blah. I have gone on her website probably three, four times now looking for eyeshadows and they're always sold out, which is just t such a bummer. So I wound up going on their website last week and all the shadows that I actually wanted were there, which is a first. It was awesome. So I did go on a Makeup Geek splurge. I ended up getting a Z palette. I got the pink Z palette because it's just so cute. I mean, look, it matches my hair. So how to do it. So I got 12 shadows from Makeup Geek. And these shadows are only $5.99 each, which is amazing. Just amazing. What a great cost. 
posted a picture on Instagram, which a bunch of you saw, which, you know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, like, follow me on fucking Instagram already, people. Why do I have to beg? Go follow me on Instagram. Twitter and Facebook, too. Seriously, not enough of you are going on there and following me, so I'm just, that was a little Sammy Gills. Sammy Gills, you're right. And shit just fell on the floor. These colors are amazing, so beautiful and pigmented. Ugh, I love it. Today, I'm actually, I, today was the first day I used the Makeup Geek shadows on my lid. I swatched them all. They're so beautiful, so beautiful. Uh, today, I'm wearing Mango Tango right on the lid and this brown one. What is this brown one? Mocha. Mocha. Such a beautiful, warm, chocolatey brown, and I'm using that in the crease. Beautiful. Oh, these shadows are so gorgeous. Like, I have been stalking out fairy. This is fairy tale, which is just a beautiful purple, and it's like a grayish purple. I have been stalking this color out for forever. That, and I think this is Wisteria. No, Unexpected. Unexpected is another one that I've been stalking out forever. Oh, so gorgeous. So beautiful. But again, I'm going to do a full review on these shadows. I, first impression, I'm in love. I love them. I love them. The only thing that kind of sucked, Cocoa Bear, this color. And I heard this already, but I don't know why I forgot when I was buying them. This is a dupe for uh, Brown Script by MAC, which I have Brown Script, and it's a well-loved eyeshadow. So I probably wouldn't have gotten that shadow because I have Brown Script already. So it's essentially me getting the same shadow twice, but that's okay. That was my bad. Nothing to do with Makeup Geek. So I got these shadows. Love them. And I love a Z palette. It's so cute. Look at it. It's pink. So good. You know what I was to tell you guys? The other day, you know Sephora is pushing this whole like foundation matching thing. It's called the Sephora Skincare IQ. And it's saying that they will color match you and brand match you for the perfect foundation. I really want to go in there and have that done. I got a sample of a foundation the other day and I, they didn't actually color match me. I just picked it myself. <laughs> so, but they put it in here and her name was Jeanette. Jeanette helped me. So I wound up getting a sample of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I think it's called Matte Velvet. Oh my god, my nail just chipped. Yucky. So I've been trying out the Velvet Foundation, I mean the, the Matte Foundation by Makeup Forever. I'm really liking it. I haven't been able to find a primer that I like with it though because the primers I've been using make it look cakey, but if I put on without primer, it looks really awesome. Liking it. Yeah, the Matte Velvet Plus, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm liking it. Hmm. Cool. All right, guys. I hope you like this video. That's it. That's all I got for you. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.